Hi, and welcome to Best in Tesla. So Tesla just shared their delivery and production numbers. And as I have been saying for four years straight on this channel, it is, of course, records all around. But BYD is gaining on Tesla and other Chinese players are seeing some impressive growth. Meanwhile, the legacy automakers are becoming the laughingstock of the automotive industry when it comes to electric cars. So let's check out all the numbers and the insane growth the Tesla continues to have and debunk some of the demand problem myth out there. So let's check it all out and let's dive right in. It is not just Tesla and BYD that saw incredible growth in 2023. As Ray for Tesla shared on X, Li Auto has just crowned itself the fastest new energy vehicle maker in China, which delivered 376,030 units in 2023. Compared to 2022, that's an impressive growth of 182.2%. The projected delivery numbers of 2024 is 800,000 units, so that is quite the growth Li Auto is targeting there. They still have quite the way to catch up to the two leaders in the EV race, BYD and Tesla, that still sells quite a bit more in just a quarter than what Li Auto did in the whole year of BEVs. BYD also seemed to make a great end of the year push with December deliveries of more than 190,000 battery electric vehicles, implying a total Q4 BEV deliveries of 529,000. So BYD did beat Tesla in Q4 of 2023 of most BEVs sold for the first time in history, as Tesla did deliver 484,507 units in Q4, also a new record for Tesla. So a big congratulations to BYD on the amazing growth they have done over the past couple of years, and a big congrats to Tesla as well for making yet another quarterly record in sales and production that we will probably celebrate for many quarters to come. I know some analysts are saying that Tesla will shrink or are not growing fast enough anymore, but remember, it is also the same analyst that in 2018 and 19 said demand had peaked for Tesla. And in 2019, Tesla sold 367,000 units, so Tesla only sells 32% more in a quarter than Tesla did in all of 2019. So I guess demand didn't peak in 2018, or that the demand for the Model 3 dropped off a cliff in 2019. Well, it is still the second best-selling EV on the planet. And the Model 3 alone sells more units than Ford and GM combined sales in a whole year with all their many EV models here in 2023. So I guess a demand for the Model 3 didn't drop off a cliff in 2019 either. Or in 2020, where more so-called journalists claimed that Tesla sales had fallen off a cliff in Europe. And if you don't remember, Tesla sold just over 90,000 units in all of 2020 in Europe, and here in 2023 they are already over 320,000 units, and the numbers are still coming in. So I guess a falling off a cliff means tripling its sales <laughs> and getting the best-selling car model of any kind in Europe, the first time in history an EV take that title, and the first time in history a non-European automaker take that title. Or in 2021, we also saw articles saying that Tesla's orders dropped by half in China, and analysts were therefore saying that Tesla was doomed in China because of all the competition. But in 2021, Tesla sold just above 320,000 units, and in 2023, they will sell more than 600. 
100,000 units domestically, still waiting on the numbers. So again, demand should drop off a cliff in China, but Tesla has almost doubled their sales in China. So before you start believing some of the many articles that are coming out now saying Tesla having demand problem and BYD is crushing Tesla. Remember, journalists and analysts have been saying that for over half a decade and Tesla has increased their sales since 2018 by seven times. <laughs> Nothing is slowing down and we are not seeing a demand problem. It is just more journalists embarrassing themselves once again. The facts are that Tesla is breaking records this quarter and this year. And of course, Tesla still took the crown in 2023 as the best-selling BEV automaker on the planet, with 1.81 million units sold, against BYD's almost 1.6 million. So we will probably see a close race in 2024 between the two leaders in the EV race to see if BYD can take the crown from Tesla or Tesla Tesla will take it once again in 2024. But one place where Tesla sets itself apart from BYD is of course on earnings on their BEVs. As AJ has shown us before on X, Tesla generates in China with the Model Y two times more revenue than the second closest BEV competitor. When it comes to revenue and profits, Tesla is still in a league of its own. No one comes close. So before people start screaming about that Tesla's earnings have plummeted in 2023, yes, because as Tesla told us, in the beginning of the year, Tesla would sacrifice profits for growth. Because we are in a high interest rate economy, so Tesla is just making sure they have the same size addressable market as before, so Tesla can keep their factories at as high a production rate as possible and get the two new factories rammed up as fast as possible so they could start earning money for Tesla. Because as I showed many times before, Tesla's Model Y long range cost the same per month in 2023 as it did in 2019. So Tesla is just maneuvering the global economy the best they can and remember still earning billions of dollars while pretty much everyone else is losing money making their EVs and that is why GM and Ford and Volkswagen is cutting back on their EV production as they can see the billions of dollars is just bleeding out of the company because of their EV production. As Ford has shown us, they will lose something like $4.5 billion in 2023 alone on their little tiny amount of EV sold. So even after all the price cuts, Tesla still sits on something like maybe 90% of all the profits in the EV market as everyone else still needs to start making some money on selling EVs. Only BYD might have a little bit of profits on their BEV, but as they put together their plug-in hybrid sales with their BEV sales, we really don't know what they earn on their BEVs. But nothing close to Tesla anyway. But we have to wait until the 24th of January to get the earnings report from Tesla to see exactly what their earnings look like in Q4. But Tesla want to grow as fast as possible and when the interest rate comes down, well, that would be like a huge discount for Tesla's vehicles like every other vehicle of course, but that will only increase Tesla's addressable market even further. So I don't think we will see a big slowdown for Tesla in 2024. But of course, we are not going to have a new factory coming online in 2024. But we will see the two newest factories, Berlin and Texas, continues to ramp. So I'm guessing that Tesla would do something like 2.2 million in 2024, give or take. That would be another 400,000 units on top of 2023 numbers. So the question is, does BYD have more capacity ready in 2024 to grow with about 600,000 units to catch Tesla in 2024. BYD did grew with about 678,000 units in 2023 with the factories and production capacity they had ready in 2023. But can they do that once again in 2024? Well, I am not sure as I don't know if BYD has any new factories ready to go online in 2024 or other factories they have retooled, converted to BEV factories in 2024 for pure BEV production. But we will see. But they would have to grow about as fast as they did in 2023 again in 2024 to beat 
Tesla and take the crown, in my opinion. And speaking of leaders in the EV race, no, GM did not get closer to Tesla or BYD's numbers in EV sales here in 2023. They didn't even get above 100,000. As it's still basically only the bolt that is selling in volumes, the Homo EV has basically been a flop so far, together with the Cadillac Lyric and the Blazer EV is getting hammered by reviewers as we speak. So after all this year talking about their ultimate platform that would come in and crush everybody, they have basically nothing to show as the Bolt is not built on the ultimate platform. So I think it's fair to say that the ultimate platform EVs have been a big failure so far and GM has also cut back on their EV targets for 2024 as they don't see high demand for their EVs, even though they only sell a fraction of EVs as Tesla. So another year with nothing from GM other than talk, so let's see if 2024 will be any different. As the true leaders in the EV race, BYD and Tesla, have no intention of slowing down, quite the opposite. I expect Tesla to grow with more unit sales than GM will even sell in total of BEVs in 2024, just as we have seen here in 2023. Tesla grew with about 500,000 units this year. That was about five times as many EV as GM was able to produce in total. Just Tesla's growth. So Tesla left GM even further behind in 2023. Not a good sign when you have told the world you will catch up to Tesla. And now they only have one year left before GM said they would sell as many EVs in 2025 as Tesla in the US. Well, we wish you all the best of luck because you're going to need it. So yes, Tesla continues to grow as we have predicted. As you can see on this chart here, there is not one quarter year over year that has been down. And as you can see, every year is also a big growth over the last year. Even though we have been seeing haters and automotive analysts talking about the demand problem for more than five years, and yes, the production chart looks very similar as Tesla does sell every vehicle they make, even though Gordon Johnson would like to tell you otherwise. Well, here are the facts. On a chart, Tesla grew 38% over last year. Tesla grew with just under 500 thousand units in 2023. So let's see when Ford and GM will even get to that number in total sales of a year, not in 2024 for sure. I still believe Tesla's Model Y only just the Model Y will still sell more units in 2025 than GM will be able to sell of EVs in 2025. Just Tesla's single model. So for GM to still claim they will sell more units in 2025 than Tesla is just showing us how out of touch they are with reality. And in 2025, I do believe we will see Tesla's production of the next generation compact vehicle, and that will just mark the end of GM, Ford, and especially Volkswagen, as no one will have anything close to that vehicle at that time time. Remember, Mary Barra has said herself that GM will not be able to make any profits on their thirty to $40,000 EV before next decade, and Tesla will come out next year with one for $25,000 that will be profitable. They simply don't stand a chance against the growth Tesla has put in place for the rest of this decade. But let's see how 2024 will play out, how the global economy will behave as this has a big influence on the interest rate and how much people can afford to spend on a car. But I personally think we are looking at a great 2024 for Tesla once again that will just distance itself even more to all the competitor except for some of the Chinese like BYD that might even catch up a bit more to Tesla in 2024. But legacy automaker situation will become crystal clear in 2024 as they are cutting back and backing down while Tesla and the Chinese are ramping up even further. 2024 is going to be a very interesting year, so a uh, buckle up because we are going on one heck of a ride once again. And thank you for watching. And until next time, take care out there and be nice. <laughs>